Hello everyone, my name is Amal. Today I want to share how you can start preparing your AI exam for Deutsch language without going to any institute. Well, this is my mic and because this is not going to be a fancy video, it's just about sharing some information so I don't care if this is visible or not. Anyways, let's get started. So briefly, I have broken down things in like 14 days and by the end of the 14th day you should be able to go and attempt your AI exam from day one. I assume that you know German a little bit already and if you don't maybe you can download free app Duolingo and uh, by the way this app should like stay with you all the time because you will keep on doing practice on this this will help you to improve your vocabulary task for your day one is like you have to learn the alphabets and the number uh, you need to know the countings in german and you need to know how to pronounce alphabets in german uh, you need to spell your name in german email you need to spell it in german what's your date of birth so something like this so, so this will help you if you know the alphabets and if you know the numbers in german so this is your task for the day one so for the day two you need to build your vocabulary the tip is maybe you can search on google for like maybe 500 german words print those out and start practicing or there's another tip that you can go to german.net there's a section for the vocabularies over there try to learn those as much as possible and keep it printed out with you so that you can practice and the pro tip is if you try to do it with your partner that will help you a lot it should not take like more than one day to learn basic vocabulary in german on day two so this is day three and on day three you want to learn about the greetings so you need to learn about the basic greetings in german like good morning good evening have a nice day and there are like many others you can also google and you can start learning about those greetings as well and also you need to learn about the time so to learn it quickly i will leave a link to a diagram that can help you to learn about the time i hope that will help you for the day four, you need to learn the conjugations of the basic verb. And the very good resource to practice this is German.net. Go over there and start practicing the conjugations of the basic verb because you have to do it for the first person, second person, third person, first person singular, second person singular, third person singular, or whatever it is. So there's like a table, you can create a table on your paper and you can start practicing it yourself as well. There's a tip like from the day one, there should be like a notebook for you so that you can take the notes that what you have learned and you can keep on practicing maybe every other day what you have learned so far. <laughs> So now it's day five. On the day five, maybe you want to learn the basic sentence structure in German. So you need to know where the subject is, where the verb is, and where the object is. And then you need to learn how to convert a sentence to a question. The tip is like maybe you can start with the basic 10 to 20 sentences, basic sentences, and then the question sentences out of those. <laughs> Now it's day six and by now you have learned alphabets, you have learned numbers, you have learned the basic sentence structure, you have learned the conjugation and on day six you may need to practice basic sentences in German. So I would suggest like maybe write down 50 to 100 basic sentences. You can go on YouTube, look for like videos of like basic German conversation, try to write down the basic sentences and practice. So the practice will make you to speak it well and practice will make you to understand the questions as well. There are like a lot of things you don't need to get into in grammar or something like that. But if you start practicing because you have learned how to make a basic sentence yourself. Now it's day seven. On day seven, you want to introduce yourself in German. So there is a basic pattern in like in the speaking exam. You need to speak about, about your name, your age, your land, where you come from, which language you speak, what do you do, what are your hobbies. You just need to practice that. And the tip is if you if you can practice those and you can write it down yourself like three, four or five times, that will help you a lot as well. It's day eight. Now it's time to learn about the article. So there are like three type of articles in German. There, the, thus, and then there are like definitive, indefinitive, and negative articles. You need to learn about those. For the male, female, and for the neutral, there are like three different articles that you need to use each time. And it's all about practice as much as you can.
so it's day nine and you want to learn about essen food eating so you need to know what what is breakfast in german what is lunch in german what is a dinner in german and how to describe what have you eaten something what time and you have to describe like what do you like to eat and what have you cooked uh, something like that so again you can like create few kind of paragraphs two or three and start practicing those as much as you can <laughs> Now this is day 10 and you want to learn about directions. What about if you want to ask a direction from someone that how can you go to the central station or how can you go to the airport or if someone is going to ask you about the directions how you can explain it to them. So this is what you need to learn on day 10 and for this uh, there's a really very good video on YouTube where a person goes to native German and ask them about some directions and everybody answers in their own way listen to them write it down for yourself and start practicing it again and again now it's day 11 uh, but i would give you like day 11 and day 12 so in these two days you need to practice your write so in the writing exam there will be some kind of emails that you need to write and there will be a formula a form that you need to fill in uh, form is quite easy but uh, yes writing is quite you need to do some practice and the basic thing you can start learning about four type of email writing uh, the first one could be like invitation accepting something third rejecting something and the fourth inquiring something if you know about the opening and the closing of the email you have done like more than 50 percent of the email the rest is about just create three to four or five sentences in between opening and closing of that email that will make your writing done day 13 and 14 so in these two days you should have practiced everything that you have learned so far you have learned some vocabulary you have learned some conjugations practice those uh, maybe you can again go to german.net they have the online interface to practice your conjugation and practice your reading so for the reading again you can go to german.net they're like basic paragraphs over there you can start reading those paragraphs and start practicing those as well by the end of the 14th day you should be able to attempt your AI an exam so the final tip is watch the videos on the youtube try to improve your listening because when you will be watching the videos about your topics that will improve your listening as well Perfecto, gracias a sus raíces. ¿Sabes cómo es? El rey de la selva. Cuando con mi león.